Hi. I see men talking in online forums and on YouTube channels about how it's really important not to let your Thai girlfriend's family take over your life. Well, I'm in clear violation of that principle, that's for sure. This is my third, might even be my fourth visit to uh, Pattaya, uh, where I'm staying in this uh, uh, townhouse. It's uh, actually one of uh, several uh, three-story townhouses. You can see they have identical layouts here. This is a nice, nice little find, this, uh, this townhouse. It's, uh, I think, very reasonable. Um, at, at our uh, highest level of head count here for this uh, three-day uh, stay that, that, that we're here for this time, I had 16 people in this house. Now, I claim, you know, a bedroom as my own, so the other three bedrooms in the house are, are, are up for grabs. But, you know, the uh, upcountry Thai people are very happy to, uh, to share floor space. They have no problem with that. Um, so, yeah, um, you know, so what's that all about? Am I letting my Thai girlfriend's family take over my life? So, yeah, I'm going to refute that uh, notion that you should be careful about that old Thai family. I guess it depends on the family. These, this family tends to be, uh, you know, a pretty cheerful bunch of folks. And, uh, you know, I like being around them. I suppose there are families that are not like that. But, you know, for a generalization, I'm going to say that, you know, something really kind of special has happened in my life because of the relationship that I have with Miss Buakau, my, my girlfriend, and, and her immediate family, her uh, uh, four children that have been living in my house now for nearly five years, uh, five or six years, long time. And, uh, you know, the, the younger ones look to me as a father figure. And I came here to Thailand, uh, you know, a little over six years ago with two suitcases and a backpack, you know, feeling like I was, you know, a wandering minimalist. So what happened with all of that? I'm going to talk a little bit about that in this video. It was February 2020 that I was in that hotel with the nautical theme behind me, talking with some friends. We were at a uh, conference, and, uh, you know, there was this news coming out of China about this virus thing that was bubbling up, and all the Chinese tourists from here in Pattaya were gone. You know, it was a very ominous kind of thing, and we were all saying, I wonder how many weeks or even months this might last. Ah, shows you what we knew. Well, tourists are coming back, finally. So one of the things you will always encounter here in Pattaya, if you take the time to look, are other YouTubers, and here's this uh, brick gentleman I just ran into. We're uh, having a, a, a uh, discount lunch in McDonald's. Hi, nice to meet you. Uh, and, uh, yeah, good to see you, Charlie. We've been talking now for about two minutes. I've got a YouTube channel just started up by the name of Mr. Tony. Now, it's not Mr. because I'm arrogant in any way. It's Mr. because I'm a school teacher in China. And I'm here because I'm waiting to get back. Yeah, so Patia Beach has become kind of a, a symbol for um, all the displacement that occurred over the last couple of years. And what that's meant to me personally is that I found myself becoming, you know, one of the uh, people that stayed here in Thailand, the expat community, the uh, foreign Westerners that, that come to Southeast Asia uh, to live, tend to be a very transient group. And there aren't many people that are still here now that, uh, that I know in that community that were here when I arrived six years ago. I do have well, two friends, actually, Bill up in Chiang Mai. He's been around for 15 years. He's settled here. And my other friend, Marcus, uh, who's been here for quite some time as well, I think, in that, that area also. Uh, but many of the other people that I came to know have gone. And um, you know, that happens under normal conditions. But I think that the COVID uh, crisis exacerbated that. You know, people just didn't have the means to stay, and they went back to their home countries, wherever that was. And I stayed, and that's how I got involved with this big Thai family. I'm very happy about that. It's, it's, it's been a, it, it was a chance event that occurred because of this big old problem called COVID that um, changed the course of my life in a very positive way. Um, 
you know, Thailand feels like my home now. I've become part of her family as well. And, uh, and it's been a wonderful experience for me. So, you know, that's, that's my story. And, uh, you know, I'm kind of glad to be here. Let's go back and uh, see what they're all doing. One of the big benefits I get from uh, this relationship is a supply of photographic models. And I think I'll close the video out with that. Thanks for watching.